welcome back to uh, episode three and year three of Life is Feudal Forest Village, where today's goal is going to be to get a gatherer up on the top of the hill. Now, we shall also be opening up the school and we may also be able to get a house built, which is the next thing I want to do. So we want to start getting some more housing uh, and getting rid of these shacks so people have got somewhere a bit better to live and we can start expanding the, the village population a bit more. So, no further ado. I've taken off the blacksmith and the furnace and the kilners because we've got enough tools, we've got enough cast iron and we've got enough charcoal for the moment. Let's see, we've still got two builders, yep. The rest of the labourers should be clearing uh, ore off the top of the hill, clearing the boulders away. Oh, there's a. I'll just wait for someone to come back up here. Yeah, you'll do. Uh -huh. Oh, it's Brynhildi! Get your bow out. And just shoot that thing there. Very good. Can't see anything else worth having. Oh, there was another one there. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, just before you go back to eat. You'll have to stab this one. Very good. Oh, Trip's now all grown up. So let's see where we're actually going to put the gatherer. Don't really want the gatherer trying to gather inside the village because that involves going down the hill and all the way around. So probably over this side a little bit. We'll just make sure that it's clear of boulders and things over here. Oh, school's built. All right. In that case, we actually want to get a teacher on straight away. And we'll free up those builders. There must be at a weird angle here. Yeah, come and get that stuff there. Did I pick up that tree? I must have. Oh, it's coming down into the village. Look at that, it's delivering itself to our door. Mm. Marina. I don't think we've ever used you before, Marina. Get your bow out. Oh, you're not as good a shot as some of the others. That's better. Wow, what a storm. So let's go and have a quick look at the school. Oh, I tell 
you what? Hmm. Elian. Just before you go home for something to eat, let's uh, let's just take a look inside here. Okay, so obviously teaching involves making kids stand face the wall. I'm sure Mia would wholly approve. Oh yeah, look, you can tell he's a teacher. He's got a book on his bum. And I'm guessing this is like the teacher's office. Nice balcony where I guess they get to read outdoors in the fine weather. Okay, off you go, Ellie, and go get yourself some dinner. There's another moose wandered out of the, the forest there. Yeah, you. Hmm. Oh, it's Tholan. Tholan's the teacher. Uh, you can go back to teaching in just a short while. For now. Ah, you're stuck on something, aren't you? You are stuck on something. There we go. Very good. Leave someone else to go collect the meat. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Tholan's actually gone to pick up the meat. Oh, it must have been a good bit of meat there though. Right, and how are we doing on this hilltop? So we want the gatherer as far over here as we can. Let's just scroll out and make sure that... Yeah, that's probably about as good as we're going to get. Maybe if we were to move it over that way. Now let's just see which is the front door of the gatherer. Okay, it's that way around, isn't it? Okay. So we want you as far back as we can get you. And ideally over there. So it's there. Right, gonna need a builder to help out with that. clear as many of the boulders away from this area as possible. All the kids are in school. So next thing of concern is housing. Let's just see how we're doing on resources for the, the gatherer. 50 wood, 20 stone. Oh yeah, so we'll have that put together in no time. Well, we'll let them finish bringing the stuff up. Well, 
I suppose we could start looking at where we want the house. I'm thinking that we probably want a road down the middle here, once we've got rid of that house. But then that would leave a very small space. So maybe we bring the road here. Maybe there. I mean, could we fit in another small farm here? Let's just see if we can. Yes, we can. Um, that's too small though, isn't it? Ah, so 11 by 10 would look like that. And then we could put a house alongside there. We'll pause that for the moment. So we would want the road to run up the side, which means that we probably want the house sat something like there. And that means we're going to have to do a bit of terraforming. So let's do a bit of that then. to take a piece of land at that height. And take it out to about there. Might need it just one back maybe. That should do. I think I did that? Yes, I did. And there's a sort of natural dip around there where the road will go up. And so we'll, we'll make sure that there's a nice slope. building on fire. Which building? Oh no, it's the one that's furthest away from a well. We need to build a well up here. Damn it. Okay, we'll have a well alongside. this gatherer's foot because they're only flimsy little things right what are you short of oh logs Just needs two more buckets of water. There we go. Right, and let's get somebody on gathering. Yeah, we 
need more logs. Now, another thing that we do need pretty urgently, oh, we can use this little patch of unused land here for, uh, is a pyre. So that if somebody in the village dies, we've got a way of dealing with their dead body. And we should be alright with it there. Only needs a little bit of wooden hay and straw. Uh, wooden straw and stone. That it's roofs caved in. Oh, where'd you go? Uh, whoever it was who was repairing the building. Yeah, there you are. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Trip. Hi, Trip. Uh, would you mind awfully just putting that work to one side and come and shoot this boar I just saw? Where was it? That's a lump of stone. It's just here somewhere. Oh, I think it's got away from us. Oh, hang on, is that it? There it is. Okay, so the well is... Is that filling up or is it... Oh, I think it's filling up, so it's being built. I think. Yeah, it's filling up in the rain. Okay, so what we want to do now is to build a decent slope here for the road to go up. So I think we'll need to create a ramp. Hmm. Don't want it to be a 4x4 four four ramp though. Unless we do it this side. That's too far over that side, yeah. That's not perfect. But it might be walkable at least. So we'll just let him do that. Done? Have you finished? I think they have. Okay, let's try now building a flattened slope. That flattens it a bit more. Let's just see, the house should still fit into a gap there, yeah. So we want the road going up here. Not that way, this way.
Okay, that looks better. Now I could just get this little corner here done. Early fall. How are we doing, people? Oh yeah, we're on to second crop. Right, someone dug this. I think they might have. And that now is looking like we might be able to get a road straight up there. Let's check. Yeah, look at that. That'll do. Bring the road around there like that. And now we can get a house in there. That's where we want it, like that. Right, what are you short of? Wood, of course. Okay, we need to do some chopping. Okay, people, it's the trees we need. See how many of those you can get around the edge of this hill. take a teenager up to try and get that one. Uh, teenagers. No. Brody. Yeah, you've been, you've had a couple of good years of doing nothing really. So which tree is it? I think it's that one there that they can't get to. Good stuff. I think maybe this one will need a little bit of help as well. Now we have only got one teenager. Oh, and Brody's just what? So we've got no teenagers and no kids. That means that we are out of housing. Um, it's probably about time you started harvesting mm -hmm. your crops as well. So you can get them all in in time. How are we doing? 2,400 crops. That's okay. Um, we're okay on firewood and we're okay on tools. So we're doing all right, actually. Apart from being out of lumber. Wow, and another storm. So it's been quite a stormy year, has year three. should see as well is that the gatherer brings in fruit which is great they bring in vegetables as well but it's the the addition of fruit to the diet that really helps with the gatherers We're 
are you going to do? Oh, Trinity. Hello, Trinity. How about you blow your horn? And then we'll go chop down this tree here. And then who's this? Brody. Uh, oh, you're carrying something. We'll let you do that. And Carlos. Ooh, Carlos is getting to be quite an old guy now. You mind that? Well, by mine, I mean chop. Who's this? Mm -hmm. Oh, Mikhail. Okay, so we'll have you come and take down this tree here. And do I dare take one of our choppies off? Okay. Oh, I think that might be a tree that they'll struggle to deal with themselves. So maybe we'll grab someone to do that for them. Yeah, who's that? Mm -hmm. Elian, all grown up. But he's carrying to storage, so we'll leave him to it. And who's mm -hmm. that? Oh, Trip's our gatherer. Okay, Trip, I'll leave you to do your gathering. And who's this? Uh -huh. Efren. The grand old age of 11. Uh, come and do this one. Great if we could get that tree, uh, that extra house built. Yeah, there we go. And 3,000 food to go into the winter with is a uh, plenty enough to allow us an extra couple of mouths to feed. Okay, just a few more left. How many of those can you get in? And we're done. Okay, so that's the end of the episode as we switch from... No, it's not. We're just going into winter, aren't we? Oh, no, we're halfway through. Not very good. All right, let's take... The gatherer can't do anything in winter and neither can the farmers. So we shall... Yeah, I'll put a choppy back on again. Second chopper. And we'll focus on collecting wood. I've got loads marked. Ah, oh, there's a boar there, that'd be worth having. Just 
wait till we see somebody coming up the hill. Oh, who's that? No, they're carrying something. There you go. Right, hmm. that was soon. Tholen! Uh, oops. There we go. Come and get this ball. Very good. Now we don't have any children, so there's no point having a teacher. really helps bringing in the wood. Now what I would like to do is to upgrade this lumberjack next. We have got all the things we need to do it, but I don't think it's wise to do that in the middle of winter because it takes quite a while for them to do. And so instead, I think we'll just focus on the housing. Okay. So we've, we're demolishing a shack that could hold three and we've just built a house that can hold four. So overall, our population has, limit has just gone up. the next house. Do we carry on flattening around the back here, I wonder? Hmm. We could do with keeping some housing near the farms. I wonder if we could fit one here. Well, we can definitely sort out the road because I know where that goes. fit another house in there we'd need to like not straight away but after we built after we destroy the next shack so maybe we reserve that for another house and maybe bring the housing back here Although we could put another one alongside this road and that wouldn't be too difficult to do. I don't think we need to flatten anything for it. Um, we want it facing this way. room for a little road uh, now what might happen is that because of the, we're going because it's on a bit of a slope 
we might end up needing a bit of extra room for a road there. In fact, we might want to just move it back from the main road as well. Yeah, I suspect this is going to slope up a little bit at the sides. See about getting some of this stuff down here while it's uh, before the trees start growing back. This would be perfect for a little bridge across. I think what's going to be interesting is once we've used up this flatland here is how we're going to cope with building in the mountains because we're going to need I mean these little farms are just starter farms and they'll be very useful for us to have just little tiny plots that we can use for growing odds and sods of materials oh speaking of which let's take that off pause and get that one built as well But we're going to need some decent sized fields, which will fit out here. But yeah, we're soon going to outgrow the flat area. That's going to get quite interesting. Okay, so that just needs building. And this house here is nearly done. So as soon as it is, we want to delete the next shack or demolish the next shack. There's a wolf on the building site. Just wondering if I'm going to want to move that well. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. We need some more teenagers so that we can 
get the extra labour out there. I think we'll have the house facing this way again. Let's just make sure it's the right way round. Okay, I don't think we're pressed right up against the well. Food reserves are low? No, I'm quite happy with those. Yeah, maybe stepping it back from the road one would be a good idea. On the sort of the north-south, just have a little bit of a gap there so that it's not right in line. Uh, actually, if we step it back both sides, it'll line up with both walls. Oh, and... It's actually time for the end of the episode. Because although it's only early spring, we've already reached uh, growing temperatures again. So we might be in for a bit of a bumper crop this year, which is great. Uh, let's tell them to... How are we doing on straw? Okay. Right. In that case, bring in potatoes again. will really ramp up the food that is excellent okay well thank you for joining us and uh, we'll see you again for some more life is feudal forest village out here in our little hamlet of whiterun because as everybody knows i love spending time in whiterun bye for now